Hey neighbors, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by. This is today's General Hospital review. Mm, it's a little bit of a slow burn, but it's in there. Yeah, so let's get into it. Okay, um, so I'm going to start with Sunny and Ava today. Because by the end of that episode today, I don't know about y'all, but did y'all see that lean-in Sonny was going for? Is he about to try to attempt to kiss her right now? That's what it looked like. So we got Ava and Sonny in the chapel, and she's giving him all the evidence, and she's talking him through the whole thing. She's like, here's the facts, here's what you know, here's what I think. Put it all together, let's figure out. Now... Thankfully, yeah, Sonny went for like how we all think and we hoping that Jason is really in there and um, he's like masterminding this underground helping Sonny out type of thing and he's not out to get him. Don't look like it, but you know, like I said, maybe it's a slow burn to it. I don't know. So we got them in there figuring that out. He's laying out different scenarios and why he should trust them and why, you know, he wouldn't do this and all that jazz. And um, Ava's like being a double advocate. You know, she's like, well, think about it. When you was in Nixon Falls, thanks, Ava. Thanks for bringing that up. When you was in Nixon Falls, you was gone and you got back and things was tense. They sure were. They sure were. Uh-huh. She said they were tense. They were different. They felt a little off. Y'all didn't get a chance to fix that before the cave thing. So, we don't know. So, they're in there figuring out uh, that out. And by the end of their discussion, she got up. She said, uh, all right, all right then. Because he's saying, no, it got to be something that he's protecting or someone he's protecting or something just like we saying, to, to to do all this, to be the one who's in this camera and all that. So they was like, all right, fine. She was like, all right, cool. And he was like, just like that, it's okay. She was like, hey, I, I trust your instincts. You know him better than I do. I laid out the facts. I laid out my thoughts. You gave it yours. You're going to believe what you're going to believe. Until then, you know, we're going to buy your theory. And he's standing there saying how much um, he uh, appreciate that and um, uh, that, you know, it's just, he said, you know, when I said uh, the other day that I could trust you or you seem to be the only one who I could trust and all that. And she was like, yeah, you remember or something like that. And he was like, wouldn't it be funny if, if that's the truth? And before then, he was like, if I didn't think of, um, when you say if I didn't think uh, know any better I would think that you care and she's like of course I care because she was about to tell him you better watch the way you cross the street and all this good jazz all the notes like sign him up because we talking about Jason here mm -mm. so he was like you know if I didn't think about it I think you you know you care she's like of course I care you're my baby daddy you know she, our daughter would be crushed and Sonny goes and says, yeah, uh, I wouldn't know what to do with her in, without her in my life. I'm talking about Avery. Uh, and she was like, of course. Who else was you talking about? Okay, so then we got, we're all, that's them. In the main lobby of the hospital, we got Jordan. Hi, Jordan. Nice to see you. They let you out the attic. Cool. We got Jordan. We got Brooklyn. We got Chase. We got everybody. Still waiting word for Dante if he make it out to surgery and everything. Portia comes out twice, and I hate her poker face because I like Portia. Say something. So <laughs> Portia comes out the second time. She lets them know Dante is being moved to the ICU. He's still in the risky hours, but... Everything else is patched up. Everything looking good. He just got to make it through the night. So they got word for that, which is good because somebody needs to be on the phone real fast and call. Dun, 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 dun. Is y'all surprised? They got to see Rocco today. Told y'all by the time we get to see him, he was going to be like 16. That boy just as tall as Danny. Why is he that big? Why did he, why did y'all just grew this boy up? I don't, anywho, 
He just as tall as daddy. Uh, I could have sworn he got a little taller since Halloween because that was the last time we saw Rocco with Scarlet and all that. And then we had Sam at the hospital because she was calling in to check on Danny and like the kids. They all had the cues. And Drew is there. And so she he's saying, oh, they, they this and that, you know, but I, I can't really tell. They they two different boys and, and everything. And he had Carly over there. Like, he was calling all singers, like, please, 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 somebody help me with these teenage boys. I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, you sure is right. So um, Sam hung up and went to Laura because Laura was at the uh, hospital and she asked her, if she could go to the house but when she approached her though she approached her tell me some laura can i ask you something and laura was like yeah she walked off with it she's like can you leave excuse me <laughs> i'm just like what and when they came back because i hate commercials because that's how they left it all but when they came back she obviously discussed rocco needs you and then I remember, damn, Lord, you got grandkids everywhere. You got over here, over here, over here. I forgot how many you got going around, sprinkled around the town. You got all these grandkids and none of their parents. It's bonkers to me. All right, so then uh, we got Brooklyn having an off conversation with Jordan about all the fears of being a cop. <laughs> I don't, next. Um, what one thing that Jordan did tell Brooklyn, she was like, uh, what you need to do is make sure to be truthful to Chase because that's how my failure is with Curtis and all that. Brooklyn tried to come around and she was like, it seemed like you got a little bit of regrets. Uh, -uh we ain't playing this no more. Jordan was like, oh no, that's water under the bridge now. Yeah. Bye ball head of Curtis. We done moved on next. Then we got Chase being, you know, Chase. He could he 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 can't just sit around and wait for words. So he went downstairs to go donate some blood. Then we got uh Sam and Olivia talking sidebar. Um, why did Sam? Now don't come at me because Sam is my girl, but you know she has been different. But why did Sam look older than Olivia in this scene? Like what what happened? Are, are the actors, are actresses, are they like the same age or not? Because it, it was looking, I don't know. She looked older than Olivia in this scene. But they had that little dried out talk. You know, she's trying to calm her nerves while they wait for word. But then when Portia came out, she calmed her. She was cool. Um, so that was at the hospital. Laura, like I said, went to the queues with Carly and Drew. She went to go talk to Rocco before she got there it was an incident Rocco threw Danny video game little hand video game or whatever and I broke um <laughs> so everybody's up in the frenzy oh he broke the thing oh calm down be good to him. yeah this boy is stressed the f out his mama's been in a coma for about how long little been in a coma for by the way it's just like three years now Three or four years? Lulu been in... Is it almost four years? Jeez, this time flies. I don't know. Three years or something like that. She been in a coma and now you, his daddy done all shot up. You know, it's time to wake Lulu up. It's just a sign that Lulu is going to be up soon. 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 So, Laura got there. She talked to her grandson, Why Carly went and talked to Danny. She gave him a little pep talk, let him know that he reminded her of Jason. This, like, felt like the first time I seen her with Danny in the first place. He should see you, have seen your face a whole lot more. I digress. That's them. That's what's going on over there. What's going on over there at Spinelli and Maxi, though, was cracking me up. Spinelli is still freaking out that he saw the ghost and he's telling Maxie and Maxie like, who did you see? He turns around, finally shows her and she's like, wait a minute, what? She's in shock. He's in shock. Before they can get over this shock, here comes Jagger knocking on the door. How did y'all find him that fast? Huh? That fast? I mean, I know he called the CIA, but damn, y'all fast. And then... I thought about it. I said, still, though, how did y'all find? You know how they found him? Because Spinelli ain't wearing no gloves. How you doing all this for years, sir? You The pro at it by now. And you didn't wear no gloves? So they picked up his DNA and followed him. All right. 
right before they knocked, they did like three knocks before they kicked that little door locker, as Spinelli calls a door, in. And he hit the button and he deleted. So Jagger is there. He's like, oh, integrating them. He's like, y'all got to show me what's on the footage. And who are you? And he's looking at Maxie. Who are you? She didn't recognize him at first until he had to end up putting them handcuffs. Because Benelli's like, I deleted it. I'm sorry. I, um, It's gone. I can't help you. And um, Spinelli didn't change his tune until uh, Jagger put uh, Maxie in cuffs. And then he was changing his tune. So like a lot about. He was like, um. He was like, all right, I made a backup. Um, I got it, and it's on the server. Because he wasn't going to say anything, really. But then Maxie slipped up, too. She's sitting there talking, supposed to be chewing Spinelli out about something. You don't have to save me in this name third, and I'm not going to sit up here. Why, a good friend of ours, what she said, why, a good friend of ours is, is in trouble or something, and we can't believe it or something. Like, whatever she said, she already gave up the goods. Jagger all listening. Oh, okay, so it's a good friend of y'all's. Good, we got to leave. We can start there. So, Smithery ain't had no choice. He was like, all right, all right, all right. I made, I made a backup. You can't sit up here and lock my baby moms up. Mm-mm, mm-mm. So, he, they asked for the password, and it was Maximilian. It was still her. Yeah, it was still in the Maxi thing. And when he's spelling it out, because he didn't want to just say it, because he was a little embarrassed, but by the time he's finished spelling it out, Maxi looking at him, oh, no, ain't no all. We all know. Uh, we know how Spinelli feels. It's you acting stupid. All right, so then when they get to the end, she was like, why did you give up Jason? You were, you always seem you always was loyal to him. And he was like, yeah, but this is a good reason. They got my baby moms, and not just my baby moms, but the woman I love in handcuffs. And you can't go down like that because the kids need you. She looked at him like, oh, bad eyes and all that good stuff. And they goes in and for the kiss. Okay, boom. We got them. And we got, uh. We did have a little shot with Portia and Jordan conversation where Jordan was conversation uh talking about uh Nathan. They always bring up Nathan. You know who I thought she was about to bring up since it was more recent recent than Nathan? Rory. When Rory got killed with the Valina duty and didn't make it, she skipped over that. Who? Who? Who's Rory? We don't remember that guy. I know. It shows. And you know who else y'all don't remember? Austin. Who going to solve his murder? Nobody. Don't worry about it. That's what they said. Don't worry about that. Jason is back. That's all we worry about right now. I mean, you right, but, eh. So that's about it, kitties. Anything I missed, put a comment down below. Push the like, subscribe. See y'all later in the chat. Albert. We're going to have a nice big day tomorrow for Jason. Bye.